The Canon Monte Cristo is based in France, spanning from 1815 to 1844, which is a pretty humongous time period. The aftermath of the bloody French Revolution and Napoleon's quest to take over France and the world framed Edmond Dante's sudden imprisonment, which drastically altered his life forever. In 1789, the French people rose up and revolted against the corrupt nobility of France in the name of a new republic. What started off as a political ideological revolution rapidly escalated to a bloody massacre of nobles by the guillotine, including the queen and king. Over 40,000 people were slaughtered in the guillotine frenzy. In the video clip, which you guys are about to just see, I want you to pay really close attention to the reasons which the people revolted and um, who is leading the country at different stages in the revolution. Also, please try to ignore the Spanish subtitles. Inequality,
Cuckoo, coup d'etat, ooh, ooh, ooh la la, Napoleon's here. Alright, so during this time, Napoleon was leading the French army to conquer Austria, Italy, and Egypt, aiming to take over the world. He was kind of this crazy, um, very ambitious person. In 1799, when he saw, he saw his opening to take over France with the obvious instability of the government, and he led his forces there and effectively filled the power vacuum and installed himself as a dictator. He later became emperor of all the lands he conquered. So Napoleon, during 1799 to the beginnings of 1800s, was like a very powerful man. However, very shortly after he took the throne, the army started to face multiple military defeats, and he was forced to abdicate the throne because of this and surrender, and ended up exiling himself in Elba Island in 1814. Just a year after his exile, in 1815, watching France falter in the world without him, he escapes Elba and takes up the throne again. In the County of Monte Cristo, Edmond Dantes, the main character, was ordered to pass along information to the island of Elba by his dying captain, and this information was critical to Napoleon's return to power. Um, later, this act that Edmond Dantes does is what sentences him to his prison, to the prison. Um, in the same year, Napoleon suffered a huge, humiliating defeat in Waterloo, which is the battle pictured above, which resulted in his surrender and exile to the island of St. Helen. France returned to a monarchy, and society became split into Napoleon supporters and royalists after this. Napoleon died in 1821, right in the County of Monte Cristo, when Edmond Dantes meets the priest and begins his own transformative quest to return to his own power. 